from the celebrity capital of the world, it's Hollywood Square, starring John River, Joe River, Wayne Brady, Mark Mulls, Dolores Leachman, Jeffrey Tambor, Stephen Collins, Nicole Sullivan, and this week's Center Square, Alan DeGeneres. And your host, Tom Bergeron. Hello there. Thank you, Jeffrey. Welcome. Welcome to a brand new season of Hollywood Squares. I know you've spent your summer wondering how we were going to change the show. You, you have to look no further than our new logo. You can see... We've added algebra to the show. That's right, H squared, and we have a new center square this week. Please welcome Ellen DeGeneres to the center square. Ellen will be with us this week and throughout the season. Also in the center square this year, Alec Baldwin, Academy Award nominee, Burt Reynolds, and a lot more. Also, an exciting new bonus round coming up later in the show, but first, Let's welcome back our returning champion, uh, day two for him. He, he won his championship at the end of our fourth season, Dominic Mora. Dominic, good to see you again. Nice to see you too. And, uh, Dominic, we all want to thank you for spending the uh, past few months building us a, a new set. That was sporting of you. <laughs> Rachel Holden, Ms. Circle, is your challenger, Dominic. Hey, Rachel. How are you? I'm great. Good to see you. Just like in the old days, first game is worth a thousand dollars. It's uh, you know tic tac toe, obviously, uh, not too complicated there. But you have to decide if the answers the stars are giving you are correct or they're just making them up. That's how you get the square, Rachel. As the challenger, you kick off our fifth season. Cloris Leachman. Cloris Leachman, Emmy nominee for her guest appearance in Malcolm in the Middle. Welcome, Cloris. For almost 65 years, who has been fighting for truth? Justice and the American way. Well, I've tried to do my bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say <laughs> J. Edgar Hoover. I disagree. Superman oh, <laughs> Circle gets the square. All right, Dominic. Joan Rivers, please. Joan Rivers, her Emmy pre show, September 22nd on E! True or false, ladies who would like to return to their youth can pay a doctor about $3,500 to be re-virginized. I always thought you just left the lights off and put on pantyhose. So I haven't heard of it. <laughs> but, but, not that I know about plastic surgery, but I would think they can do anything these days. Oh, absolutely, yes. I agree. It's true, and they yeah. call that Dr. Superman. That's right, X gets the square. All right, Rachel. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres will be hosting her own daily talk show next season. Ellen, when Alexander Graham Bell invented the telephone, he wanted everyone to answer it by saying what? I, I don't think he wanted him to say what, so I disagree. <laughs> I, know, I know you're new at this. <laughs> so, you know, we give a little, little extra latitude here. But, but he said something. Let me rephrase it. By saying something, what would that be that he oh, said Oh, I see what you're people? saying. You should be more clear. Um, I'll say... Uh, <laughs> this is, uh, and this is true. Trust me on this. Uh, he was a very controlling man, and he wanted them to say bellow. And it was a, and it, it was a, a not a clear connection, and people thought it was hello, which was the way that that word was invented, hello. But it was bellow, but it turned out to be hello. I disagree. Good. Ahoy! He wanted them to say. Gets the square. <laughs> All right, Dominic. Stephen Collins for the block. Stephen Collins from 7th Heaven tonight on the WB. Season premiere tonight, as a matter of fact. Hello, Tom. Co uh, Hello good to, to see you. you again. Coming this fall to your TV, new programming that features visuals of birds, mice, and bouncing balls. Who's the target audience? You know, you want to know something sad? I auditioned for that. Oh. <laughs> Toddlers just above newborns. 
I disagree. No, it's your cat. No, Meow Mix really? created this fine new programming. X gets the block there. Rachel, back to you. So it's Martin Mull for the block? Martin Mull for the block. Welcome back, Martin. Please, sit down. Well, Martin, as we know, sunflower seeds can be delicious, but what would happen to you if you ate a cup full of apple seeds? Uh, you would be enjoying the national dish of Croatia. <laughs> I disagree. You, you'd be poisoned, is what would happen. Oh. You'd be poisoned. Uh, Circle gets the block. We get a break. We'll be back with more H squared. I feel good when I spank my tushy. Don't, don't tell anyone at home I said, oh, is that all? See, look what you made me do. Any strategy for this one? Um, to lie as much as possible, because I'll be running for Congress one day. Back to our first thousand dollar game, but we want to give our contestants a chance to uh, tell you a little bit about themselves. I was calling you Rachel Holden, it's Rochelle, yes. and you can feel free to call me Tome. Oh, okay. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yes, I'm from Van Nuys, California, where I manage a furniture store, and I'm an active single mom to a 13 year old son named Corey. All right, good enough. Good to have you here, Rochelle. Dominic, for those people who don't remember when you were last here uh, before the summer, remind us about your life and times. I was born and raised in Brooklyn, New York. Yeah. And I'm a re retired graphic designer, and I'm currently working as a part-time law clerk. All right. Okay. Now, I believe it was your turn when we went to commercial. Uh, Wayne Brady for the block. Wayne Brady. Wayne, while some women think that boys' night out should be banned, according to advice guru Dr. Phil, is it okay for your husband to go out and carouse with the guys? As long as Dr. Phil can watch. <laughs> Absolutely. I agree. Dr. Phil says yes, as long as the uh, boundaries are respected, so you can't go to a foreign country. X gets the square. Rochelle. Let's go with Jeffrey Tambor. Jeffrey Tambor from the ABC series. That was then also. Jeffrey is also the new voice of Hollywood Squares. Uh, thank you. And I'm also catering the lunch. That's lovely. <laughs> True or false, brushing your hair a hundred strokes a day makes it shiny and healthy. <laughs> You know, I'm content with being bald. It runs in my family. My mother was bald. <laughs> and, um, well, it's so on the nose that uh, uh, I'm going to say false. I agree. It's false. It's an old wives' tale. Too much brushing can break hair. You got your block. All right, Dominic. Nicole Sullivan for the block, Nicole please. Nicole Sullivan appearing on The King of Queens tonight on CBS. All right, Nicole. If, if your chicken is allowed to spend time walking around outside, mm. what, what would you call it? Frank? What? I don't um, if, he's out, if he's outside, you know what, he, you know what Frank would be? Uh, he'd be a free-range chicken. I disagree. He'd be a free-range oh. chicken is exactly what he would be. That's right. Can't give you that one, Rochelle. Nicole Sullivan for the, for the win. For the win. A perfectly fine choice. Do it. Nicole, a Harris poll found that 40% of Americans have considered adoption, and their number one concern was that the child would be what? Uh, unable to use a sewing machine, because otherwise we would. Oh, no. Uh, that they would be. That they, yeah. they would be. They would be. Uh, they, they would be. You know what? They'd be of a different race or nationality. They would. They would look too different than them. I disagree. No, they'd be badly behaved. Actually, no. is the concern. Circle. Gets that square and the thousand dollars, and we come back with a 
the $1,000 secret square game right after this. Stick around. with the mines like Martin Mall and stuff like that. These are these are dirty men. And I'm just following their lead. I listen, I just do I just do what I'm told. He came in earlier this week and had a long talk with the producers about how they needed to uh, raise the sex factor of the show. Make make everyone a little hotter. Put some pheromones in there, things like that. Closed captioning provided by... Take a closer look at Monarchy. You'll like what you see. Now within a lifetime muffler, get a free all change. Monarchy, you won't pay a lot, but you'll get a lot. Secret Square game. In this season, each of our Secret Square questions will have a video or audio clue. Now, we already have over $5,000 in our Secret Square stash, and today we are adding this. Tell them, Jeffrey! It's a complete video system for your car! Enjoy your favorite DVDs while away from home with Sony's mobile video system featuring an in-dash monitor, backrest monitor, 10-disc changer, and speakers from the good guys worth $3,124. Nicely done. Nicely done. Let's show all of you at home who the secret square is. Now, uh, Rochelle, you won the first game, so you get to kick off this one. Cloris Leachman. Cloris Leachman. All right, Cloris. What unusual thing do male seahorses do instead of the females? They kind of, you know, put that stuff on them that makes it the eggs and the... <laughs> and then they clasp them unto themselves and keep them until they're ready to... Cool. So, so they carry the young. I disagree. They do that, yes. They actually yeah. carry the young and give birth to the little baby seahorses is what they do. I was correct. You were correct, yes. Dominic. Are you correct? John Ritter, please. John Ritter. Eight Simple Rules, his new series on How ABC. Many? How many? When you're hunting, what do you shout when you see a fox? Fox! <laughs> Charge! I disagree. Tally ho! X gets the square. Rochelle. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen DeGeneres might have gone to Wayne for the block, but we'll see how this works. That's all right. Why are there two red stripes around the thinnest part of bowling pins? Oh, I know this one. Um, this is, uh, and it sounds weird, but if, uh, if uh, because when you're drunk, they, they just look like uh, ten tiny ghosts, and if the stripes weren't there, you just run away screaming. And uh... <laughs> all right, then I would say they're there to uh, something to aim at. I disagree. Just just to make them look nice, basically. Oh. There's no reason no, we... at all. Circle gets the square. All right, Dominic. Wayne Brady for the win. Please. Wayne Brady. What do you call a person who is an officer of the FBI? The man. <laughs> the man who keeps me locked in this box with an X across me, which makes my sister not pick me for the block. That man. That's who I'm talking about. Oppressing me. Was that good enough? <laughs> You've got the job, yes, absolutely. I'd say officer. I disagree. Special Agent X. Yes, the square our Secret Square. Nobody picks Jeffrey, so tomorrow's Secret Square will be worth over $14,000. This next game is worth two grand, and Dominic, you get to start it. Stephen Collins, please. All right, Stephen. If you just broke the Seventh Commandment, what did you do? You failed to honor the Sabbath day and keep it holy. I agree. Well, some audience members gave an eerily knowing chuckle to this. Uh, you committed adultery yeah. is... Uh, <laughs> what you did. Circle gets the square. Rochelle. 
Joan Rivers. Joan Rivers, all right, Joan. Where would you find the popular characters Sally, Lucy, Frida, Marcy, and Violet? On President Clinton's to-do list. Uh, <laughs> oh, grow up, audience. Um, uh, those are the girls in Peanuts, I bet. I disagree. Those are the girls in Peanuts. That's right. Yes, Lucy. X gets that one. Wow. All right, Dominic. Ellen DeGeneres. Ellen please. DeGeneres. All right, Ellen. Nice smart. Good idea. If you're if you're doing a, a buck and wing or a paddle and roll, what are you doing? Okay, I'm going to tell you the same thing I told Barbara Walters. <laughs> it was college. <laughs> we all did crazy things. Yeah. Flash dance had just come out. Um, <laughs> you're tap dancing. I agree. They are tap dancing steps. Yes, that's right. X gets that one. Rochelle. John Ritter for the block. For the block. All righty. What are a snap, crackle, and pop? Uh, those were the Marx Brothers that weren't in the entertainment uh, industry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just kidding. Um, they're a, a rice cereal. I agree. That's right. Rice Krispie characters. Yes. Merkel gets the block. All right, Dominic. Jeffrey Tambor, please. Jeffrey Tambor. All right. This means we are out of time. If you get this, you're the champion again. If you don't, Rochelle, you get to just stand there and become the champion. All right? Here we go. What's Mr. Rogers' first name? Unfortunately, Ginger. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, uh, my apologies. Uh, by the way, I love Fred Rogers. I think he is fantastic. Fred Rogers. I agree. And he did the whole show backwards and in heels. Fred Rogers, yes. X gets the square and the win for uh, the championship. Rochelle, you got two circles up there plus your $1,000 win. You leave us with $2,000. It's a pleasure having you here. Just stay here for a second. But you, Dominic, are still our champion with $2,500. And you get to start our brand spanking new bonus round right after this, all right? Stick around. You're going to like this. It's the $99 sale going on now at David's Bridal. Select gowns are on sale for only $99. Plus every other wedding gown, thousands, all reduced $50 to $300. Call now for your appointment, 1-800-399-BRIDE. I don't believe in luck, so when I decided to quit smoking, I chose Nicorette. It helps prevent cravings by setting a regular schedule. If I do get a sudden craving, I take action with another piece. Thanks to me and Nicorette, I'm finally going to win. You can do it. Nicorette can help. Even with osteoarthritis, these arms still have a way with the ladies. Celebrate, celebrate. These legs hardly miss a beat. Celebrate. And these hands. Oh, these hands haven't lost their touch. Celebrate their Celebrex. Just one Celebrex lasts 24 hours and provides powerful arthritis pain relief that is non-narcotic. People with aspirin-sensitive asthma or allergic reactions due to aspirin or other arthritis medicines or certain drugs called sulfonamide should not take Celebrex. In rare cases, serious stomach problems such as bleeding can occur without warning. Tell your doctor if you have kidney or liver problems. Ask your doctor if prescription Celebrex is right for you. Celebrex, the number one doctor-prescribed arthritis brand. Hollywood Squares will be right back.
our new bonus round for a test drive. Dominic, you've already won $2,500. I invite you, sir, to look over there. We have nine keys, and one of them starts what, Jeffrey? It's the new Ford T-Bird! The Thunderbird returns in the form of a two-seat rear-wheel drive V8 powered roadster, incorporating classic styling in a modern design from Berge Motor Car Company worth $39,445. Not bad. Oh, not bad. Now, up until now, we found out a bit about what the stars know. Here's where we find out what you know about the stars. Oh. With our alien abduction lighting. <laughs> now, here's how it works. You pick a square, and I'll read a statement about that star. Now, if you agree or disagree correctly, you, you've won the square. At the end of 30 seconds, for every square you've won, we'll take away one bad key. All right, Dominic? And the more squares you win, obviously, the better your odds are, are winning the car, mm -hmm. all right? right? Now, we're going to put 30 seconds up on the clock, and the mm -hmm. clock starts ticking when you pick a star. Ellen DeGeneres, please. Ellen, because of her fear of flying, Ellen travels to all of her appearances by tour bus. I agree. No. Next. Uh, Cloris Leachman. Cloris is part owner of a WNBA basketball team. I agree. No. Next. Jeffrey Tambor. Jeffrey played three different characters in two years on Three's Company. I disagree. No, that's correct. He did that. Next. Wayne Brady. Wayne. His fans are known as Brady Bunchers. I disagree. That's true. Next. John Ritter. John Ritter. Before Three's Company, John played a minister on the Waltons. I agree. He agreed. Yes, that's right. All right. Right on the buzzer. So let's, uh, let's head down to the keys with me, Dominic. All right. Just follow me. Here are the nine keys. Now, since you got one square, we're going to take one of the bad keys away. So now you have eight left. One of these will start that beautiful car. It's your choice. Which one? All right, give it a go. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right, Dominic. All right, come on back out of here. That one didn't do it, but... As a consolation prize, we'll give you $500 for the one square you got. I should mention, this was the one that would have started it. Now, we'll see you tomorrow. If you get back here, we'll start with only eight keys, giving you a better shot at the car. All right? So that's uh, $3,000, all right? And a total of $29,000 so far. On behalf of all our stars, I'm Tom Bergeron, hoping you'll come back again for Hollywood Squares. Thank you, folks. Thank you, stars. This is Jeffrey Tambor saying, I had a great time. Promotional consideration furnished by the following. Whirlwind Lightspeed, new from Eureka. I have allergies. With the HEPA filter, there's no more red, itchy eyes. You can pull it all over the house, and it's not going to tip over. Lightspeed from Eureka. I used to be top dog. Fortunately, I heard about 1-800-BAR-NONE. If you need car financing, even if you have bad credit, BAR-NONE could get you in the car of your dreams. So call now. Just a few more. <sighs> I should have used Preparation H. Preparation H medicated wipes. Easier because they're four times bigger than tux pads. Preparation H medicated wipes. Big relief. Want to lose 10 pounds this weekend? 1048. The Hollywood 48 Hour Miracle Diet. Lose up to 10 pounds safely in 48 hours. Call 1 800 New Diet. What do you love about AOL? AOL has kept me in contact with all my friends, my family. You've got mail. With everything I need, all in one place. America Online. So easy to use, no wonder it's number one. Natural White's five-minute system whitens your teeth in just five minutes a day. Guaranteed, safe, effective. The five-minute system. Your smile isn't white until it's natural white. I'm just watching them talk. I'm just watching Wayne and Ellen talk. To me, that's good TV. I had a great time. Thank you. Oh. All right, go Hollywood Squares. Now it's Hollywood Cube.